Without Jesus, it is impossible to enter the kingdom of heaven. Without Jesus, there is no hope of eternal life. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Jesus came to save the world. We read in John 1 verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Very few received Jesus. The religious Jews had him crucified. And even after he was resurrected and ascended to heaven, few believed in him and received him. Even today, some believe in Jesus, but very few receive him. Very few become a children of God. Many professing Christians believe in a concept or an image of Jesus, but they do not get to know Jesus for real. The message preached in churches is to believe in Jesus for salvation, but it omits the vital requirement of receiving Jesus, and so the vast majority of believers do not have Jesus and do not have the hope of eternal life. It is of no use to believe in Jesus if we do not accept his words and commandments and do not obey him. Jesus wants to give us eternal life and he wants us to inherit the kingdom of heaven and he will help us to enter. But then we have to follow and obey him. If we do not accept Jesus as Lord and do not receive him to unconditionally follow and obey him until the end, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. To be saved and stay saved is not a once-off occurrence, but a journey that we have to undertake for the rest of our lives until the very end. It is not a journey with a book, a new doctrine, a Bible, a church, or a group of people. It is a walk with Jesus every day until the end. Most professing Christians believe in the Bible and in the doctrines that they have developed from it, but they do not believe in Jesus of the Bible because they never received him. The reality is their Bible and their church, the church leaders, the church doctrines, things that they can see, hear and sense with their physical senses, but they do not see, hear nor experience Jesus. They are carnal people. They were never born again of the Spirit of God. They are not God's children. God's children are led by the Holy Spirit. They hear His voice. Those who are being led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8 verse 14. Jesus can only help you if you receive Him, His Spirit, and if you follow and obey Him. If you follow after people, preachers, doctrines, books, teachers, teachings, you will not enter heaven, Jesus said to the Pharisees. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. It is these that testify about me, and you are unwilling to come to me so that you may have life. John 5 verse 39 it is exactly the same with most professing Christians. They think they have eternal life by studying their Bibles, but they refuse to receive, follow and obey Jesus, and that is why they perish. Are we following Jesus? Have we received Him? And are we receiving His help and guidance? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.